Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Last time, we, uh, see, what did we do again? We were able to find, uh, Donald Anderson, the DARPA chief, uh, chief, and, uh, he told us as much information that he knew. Give me a second, actually, let me... Hello? Hello? That seems loud enough. Let me buff up the game audio just a bit. Yeah, that seems good. And, uh, let's see, where was I? Okay, Anderson told us, um, as much as he could about Metal Gear being a prototype of nuclear weapons and how to disable the launch and asking about, you know, other stuff like that until he suddenly died of a heart attack. And then, with the help of a woman, we were able to fend off an ambush, but she escaped. Anderson also told us where uh, Baker was, of Arms Tech, President of Arms Tech, and uh, he's right there. And today we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go in there and save him. So uh, let's go. By the way, cutscene. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it! C4. That wire and the C4 would blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Draw! Stop! Okay. Our first boss fight with Ocelot here. Now, when you're in boss fights, you can ask Campbell and the others for any little advice they can offer. Now, I know a strategy to defeat Ocelot, but I do want to know what Campbell and the others have to say, so... What does Campbell have to say? If you've got a question about Foxhound, ask Dr. Naomi. Revolver Ocelot is a former member of Spechnads. After the fall of the Soviet Union, he apparently served in the Russian tax police's elite SWAT team. After that, he joined the SVR, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Agency, which was formerly a part of the KGB. But according to my sources, he was dissatisfied with the rigid system of the KGB and wanted to get out. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He's a gun fanatic and totally obsessed with cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns. He's also something of a sadist. He learned the most advanced torture techniques while he was with Spetsnaz. Yeah, he had plenty of practice. Lubyanka Prison is located right there inside KGB headquarters. In a gunfight, reloading is usually the most dangerous time. But he loves it. Use that to your advantage. You'll have to take him out when he's reloading. Can you see where his number of remaining bullets is displayed on the screen? Wait for the right moment, and then take him out. There's another strategy, though, which is a lot easier, but you gotta be quick. Uh, Miller, what do you have to say about Ocelot? The muzzle velocity of a bullet fired from a revolver is slower than one fired from an automatic. That's bad for you. The slower a gun's muzzle velocity, the more damage it does. That's because the bullet will tend to lodge in the body instead of going right through. Those kind of wounds take a long time to heal. Sometimes they never do. I think that's part of the reason he likes that gun. He's a real sick puppy, that Ocelot. 
The biggest drawback to a revolver is the reload time. That's your chance. Uh, Mei-Ling? Or no, Nastasha, since she's a weapons expert. She's using a single action on me? The first model of that gun was made in 1873, over 130 years ago. Today, they're still being made in small numbers, but uh, that's just for collectors and such. Nobody uses them in combat anymore. The biggest drawback to revolver-style handguns is reload time. That's your chance. Thank you, Nastasha. Mailing? Any advice? Snake, are you okay? I, I don't need to save, don't though. Die, snake. Okay, so, as the obvious advice is... The best time to shoot Ocelot is while he's... Oh, I was trying to use the ALO stick. Okay, so let me pause so... I can't pause. I was trying to pause, but... Oh, maybe it's while they're talking. So I can give a better explanation. So, of course, the best time to shoot Ocelot's while he's reloading, but he will ricochet the bullets to try and hit you if you're behind cover. So try to watch out for that. Also, if you try to get up to him, he moves pretty fast, so my strategy is the one that a lot of people will know, and it works great in the Twin Snakes version. Also, speaking of the Twin Snakes version, there's another method of the fight where if you go into first person, shoot first person mode, and shoot some pipes that he's near, steam will come out and will temporarily distract him. So that's your chance to take a shot. But again, that's only in the Twin Snakes version. Also, more importantly, do not under no circumstances either shoot Baker or go near him. Because if you're dumb enough to do that, the bomb, the C4 will go off and Baker will die, you'll possibly die, and you'll actually get a unique game over where Ocelot will actually say, you idiot. So, uh, let's fight him. Alright. Hiding Ow. I, love you. Ah, I missed. Okay, so Alright. Missed. Let's go. Alright. I missed again. Oh, I was I didn't know my life was there. No, I'll be fine. Come on, get to reloading, Ocelot. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last you long. Don't you want to settle this? Gotcha. Damn it. Like, the idea to hit Ocelot is when you hit him... Try to stay near him as he's running away and wait for his invincibility frames to wear off and then take another shot at him. Also, it's hard to do this fight with Baker's mm, sounds. Oh, Baker, shut up. You sound like you're getting... You know, that's so free smell. But to you, be the smell. There. Hey. Yeah, where do you think you're... Ah, quit shooting me! Ooh. Wait a minute. One more shot ought to do it. Oh no, he, he's smart. No! I missed him. Got him. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton.
talk. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> Looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right uh... away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Oh boy, long the expedition. Of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. 
It proves that there's a large... Oh, I didn't realize the song was playing. Nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Oh, a lot of exposition to way, explain. There's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other? That's very powers? true. Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete mm -hmm. nuclear disarmament and Japan. Possibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. That damn nuclear deterrence theory. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. Metal Gear. You know, our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. I'm a bleeding heart. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, uh. Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they're just using you for... What the hell? Hmm. Dead. Oh boy, still more talking though. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. 
Oh, take a nice drag from that cigarette to increase our health. Right. Well, at least the uh, things here are gone, and I got some bullets. Well, uh, Baker's dead. Baker is dead, sadly. But keep in mind, he kept referring to Jim. Jim sent us. Well, I mean, technically, my real name can be shortened to Jim, but I really don't like it when people call me Jim or Jimmy, really. Oh, we can't go through this door? What level is it? Oh, it's a level four, so we gotta go back. Alright, um, I'm actually gonna find a place to stop because now we have to not only head to the nuclear warhead storage facility to find this Hal Emmerich, but more importantly, we need to contact the woman known as Meryl, who is Colonel Campbell's daughter, or I mean, my mistake, niece. Why did I say daughter? Okay, so once you get out, there will be guards, so I would suggest finding a place to hide. Right here is safe. Should be safe. Okay, I'll be here in the corner. Yeah, can I pause still? Yep. Okay, I'm going to end it here for Metal Gear, so th uh, thanks for watching this episode of Metal Gear. Join me next time as we... Uh, Contact Meryl, see what she can tell us, and uh, then see if we can move on from there. So that is it, and I'll see you guys next time.